Hi guys, this is uh, chapter two, part two, part two, whatever you want to call it, of the live stream build series. Um, this is the Lindbergh 193rd scale, which is a repop of the 1957 tooling from the Revell, of the Revell uh, B58 Hustler. Anyway, which was that three years before the plane went into service. So you, you have to kind of give them a little a, a little credit for uh, making it as close to right as possible considering at the height of the Cold War uh, obviously Lockheed and the Air Force were not going to hand over a set of blueprints to Ravel to make a model kit up for so and this kit I believe was the one of the ones also that was available from the um, poop cereal when you sent in the three box tops and 50 cents this was the one of the they had two or three of them that they had available that their suppliers if you would like to get those uh, post cereal b58 bomber kits from anyway before i start rambling before we even get into it uh that being said i'd say it's an old tooling it has raised panel lines and even has the raised lines to show you where the insignia go which helped because the decals there are no decal, decal placement instructions included in in there at all, period. Uh, so if you're somebody who never built a hustler before, you might be kind of, oh, where does this go? Where does that go? But at least for the major insignia, they do have them. Because back then, I guess they figured the kid would just paint them in. So, that being said, we did, uh, we shot this with Tester's uh, Diamond Dust over over uh, a black base coat which turned out really nice and we cleared it and we put the decals on uh, we did do some uh, gun metal for the for the engines uh, on the cells to give them that uh, darker section look from the that the hustlers had uh, I did model it obviously with the gear up and with the canopies closed you do, it does come with the three pilots and all three uh, crew crew hatches can be open and obviously you can have the landing gear down um, I kind of did a hybrid it comes with the add-on section for the uh, vertical stabilizer with, with the pitot tube on it which would be in, from the prototypes which um, the test aircraft that which what which is what would have been available when for them to look at when uh, they did the kit but I also so I had left that one on there but I did put put a regular the normal pitot tube on in those um, as far as I know and everything I found this never had a pod that had had winglets on it but that's okay it's 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 just a model right guys so um, yeah that's where we're at let me tip it over we, uh, this is an air fix stand that I, I stuck on it. Let me just take it off the stand. Um, Atlantis at one time did do the Ravel stands that would have, would have fit this kit. Um, and both on the fuel tank and on the fuselage is the spot where you could cut the plastic out to put the stand in. Um, I don't have any more of those Ravel Atlanta stands and they're not making those anymore, which is a shame. So I got the Airfix one, which works as well. Um, fit together was fairly decent. I had to do a little little uh, filling and stuff. But again, it's a, it's a 1957 kit that was made more for kids than it was for, for a serious modeler at the time. Uh, but with that being said, it, at the end of the day, it looks like a hustler. We've got so other than the uh, fuel pod never having those winglets on it. It looks it looks right. So I'm not going to measure it or anything because that's just silly because you know it's not going to be close. But anyway, that's our. It'd make a great piece for your sit on your desk or on yourself. I mean, it's not a super high detail model, but that's because that's what they did in 1957. 
Um, could you make it into one? I'm sure you could. You could sand it down and inscribe all the panel lines and and go to town on it if you really wanted to. Um, and the kit's not expensive. I, I bought it from Atlantis on pre-order, so I paid a premium for it. It was like twenty twenty-two dollars, I think it was twenty or twenty-two dollars. So it's not a bad price. I'm sure from your look well, normal normal outlets, you'd probably get it for a little less. But yeah. I'm real happy with the way it turned out. I do have another one, which I will probably do uh, at some point in the future and do it with the gear down and the catches open. Uh, maybe I'll do that one in the uh, in the bullseye paint scheme. That'll make everybody real happy. So with that, uh, if you'd like to get one of my shop cards, I have new ones available back in stock. Uh, I will send you send you one no matter where you are in the world. Just email me your uh, snail mail address and I will send one out to you free of charge um, you know subscribe to my channel I wish you would uh, doesn't cost you anything and if you like the video kick the like button it helps other people find it and with that I want to say good morning good evening good night depending where you are in the world when you watch my video and we will see you on the next one bye <laughs>